And episode two, shard 25. First large, large shard on my evil playthrough of Eodor Genesis New Horizons, December 2022 edition. Now we've got Garzod, the, the protecting wizard. He's, he has an energy shield. And that's a magic shield that gives our nearby allies resistance. And that's about the state of things. Now, I did say at the end of last episode that I was going to um, sorry, I'm a little bit discombobulated for no particular reason, that I was going to move on this um, bandit horde. And I still might. I don't know. I, I've just been I'm, I'm kind of thinking, you know, like I guess I'm only level two. I'm sort of just trying to think for like when I get my next hero. Um, you know that I just want to make sure I haven't gotten rid of um, all of the, the low hanging fruit. Because um, you know brigands are fairly easy, but I think I'm, I'm overthinking things. You know, it's not like it's not like um, Garzod is a level eight guy. Um, He's only level two, so it would be perfectly reasonable to feed him the brigands. Um, so, yeah, you know, I guess what I'm trying to say is that you know it's a bad strategy to just go along and take every single fight that you can if the fight is like so um, easy for you. You know, you're just basically eating the food of other heroes. Um, I'm talking about food and stuff, you know, because it's like. I've also spent a lot of time playing League of Legends, you know, and you've got to farm up and eat things. And <laughs> anyway, uh, so yes, I will. I will attack the um, the Bandit Horde. I think I'm ready for it. Um, I think I just need to end turn. Eh? I've, have I built? No, I have not built. That's right. Yeah. That's just okay. Yeah, we shall. Build it in and attack the bandit horde. All right. Okay, no double, no double shot on him, which means I don't, you know, which is good, and no um, poison attack on him. So we'll burn ammo. So he's only got one shot left, and then it's like, you know, I can almost kind of forget about it. Let's do something like this. We'll um, heal up this dude. Now, at the moment, um, this bandit, this brigand is going to come along and, and attack uh, my kobold. And this dude here is going to shoot, shoot um, one of these two, so probably the kobold. So at this point in time, the, it's the, uh, the kobold is getting hit by by these two things, and that's, that's it. Now, you know, I could try and run things forwards, but I think that's just going to invite this guy getting hit by not just this dude and this dude, but also this dude and this dude. And, and so this is my long-winded explanation of saying, you know what, maybe it'd be better to at least not advance this part of the front line. Um, I could change things up slightly. And I'll do that. I'll move that here. So it's now possible for this this brigand to come along and hit this guy, so I'm not sure who he's going to attack, uh, but that's all right. We don't, really, we don't mind too much about that. Okay, so we need to do 14 damage to kill him. Uh, 18 damage. I 
I don't think I want to get this guy off here to attack this, because um, then he's still leaving him open to being attacked by all three of these, um, and won't and will lose the um, the defensive bonus of standing on his hill. Um, at this point in time, the berserker can be hit by all of these, but they've got such a high um, hit point pool. I'm not too worried. I think what I'm most worried about is this bring coming up and attacking this, and then this dude shooting. So. No, we'll attack five. So it could be could do three damage, getting down to seven, and then attack a five. You no know, three damage, getting him down to four. But you know, with a little bit of luck going the wrong way, um, you know, potentially there's a little bit of kill threat on on that barbarian. So I'm going to heal them up, and we're just going to leave it at that. Oh, that's right, this guy's actually out of ammo. Oh. Um. Okay. Oh, shit, I didn't mean to move that off the... Off of that. We'll, we'll kill those things, so I don't like things that I can't get, um... Return it, um, attacks on. The agile... Agile dudes be not good. I'm just... I'll heal this out. This guy's probably going to come along and hit the Kobold. As I predicted. And then I was going to finish that off by saying and I won't be able to heal him up. Uh, but at least the, the biggest chunk of damage is on one single target. Um, and I'll be able to fully heal them, or close close to fully heal them with just one kill wins at the beginning of the next battle or something. So that's all pretty good. Um, and I'll, I'll I'll give the experience more experience to this dude because he's already level three, you see. Um, you know, he can continue his ranking up. Alright, so we'll go Wisdom 3. We'll go Stamina. Reward the defense. Alright. Alright. Um. Now. I would really like to get a Metamorphosis school. <laughs> um. Let's have a look. So these are, well this is a plain. But they, these are also planes. I know they were meant to be swamps, but they're not. Um, just trying to think about what to buy, like, you know, getting a getting a, um, a chieftain's tent would be pretty nice at some point. Yeah, I reckon a workshop is the way to go at this point in time. So we'll learn spells. Do I just want to get more kill wounds? It's, it doesn't seem like you know like the worst strategy in the world. Um, just you know, heal, 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 heal. And I kind of... Uh, I want to find these wolves, right? Which I know I won't find if I attack these things. But, so bad. Um, let's... Change this a little bit. Let's 
its ghost of the undead. And in turn. Alright. Bomber class. Heal this guy up. Well, take his spears out of the fight. And this is do eleven damage, so this will do this will do eleven damage. Now, what's the best way to do this? I want to try and take as little damage as possible, of course. Now, if I could charge something down, and you know, if I, let's say I charge this guy in here, I could kill him. Yeah, big whoop. But then they're gonna take, you know, a lot of a whopping from these two zombies that could go here and here and just and smash them. Um, so maybe, you know, playing a little bit safer is the correct call here. Now we do have shock, so one shock will probably, you know, um, wipe this dude out as well. Oh, but it didn't. Holy fudge balls. Holy fudge balls. Ah, we'll run these away, so now nothing can hit anything else. Alright, so. This kobold should be able to kill this. What? Holy! Oh, he's got a five defense. Whoops. Me bad. That really sucks. Alright, well. Shock this dude. So he's got 14. I'm not going to be able to kill him. I've only got one more. I don't have enough. I don't have enough um, heals. That really sucks. Or cure wounds, or cure wounds, or whatever. Um, uh, I'll heal this dude. We'll do something like that. So, uh, yeah, I should kill him. Alright, so I should have had more, if I'd had more um, heals, I could have exited that fight in a um, much, much better state um, than how I did exit it. Uh, so be it. Uh, ooh, defense, nice. Alright, let's have a look. So we don't want this buckler at all. Um, the marshal's baton, I will keep, especially as I'm considering getting a commander as my uh, next hero. Now, I wonder when I'll be able to move on these barbarian tribe. You know, I reckon, you know, maybe I'm not too far off. Um, 
Little chalice of life. Anyway, even though that is a lot for not too much healing, like I've sort of stated before, let's um let's change this up a little bit. Let's take it another cure wounds. Something like that was kind of what I had before. Now, I've got this nagging, like, you know, maybe I should explore. Um, maybe I should explore. Maybe I shouldn't. Like, I'm just thinking, you know, if I explore and I find the wolves and that's it, you know, I've done the quest and then I can get my next quest. But, you know, there's no there's no guarantee that I'll find wolf, um, wolves exploring. Whereas, you know, if I take over these provinces, then I might find, um, might find some wolves tucked away here that I get, that I know where they are, you know. Um, oh, oops. What am I? What am I doing? You know, I only need to destroy four, so it's it's almost like, um, you know, it's going to be safer for me to try and take on these, take out these provinces first before then just blindly exploring to try and find the wolves. So that's that's kind of kind of where my thinking is at. Um, obviously this had six defenders, and you know these are some some barbarians, which you know it's not the not the easiest of um, battles, but then again, you know, not necessarily the the um the most difficult either. Now, I'm thinking I'll t go to the uh, the human province and take out those six defenders. We'll take the dash um, instead of the shocks. The idea being that I can dash uh, my my berserker. That's actually a really good strategy. <laughs> um, we'll take two dashes. Now, and I'm a little bit concerned now because I know that I can't, I won't be able to cast any spells without spending gems. Unfortunately. Oh, and dashes cost fucking five gems each. Fuck. All right, let's go to. Um, no. I was going to go like that. Let's go like that. Um, let's build a pottery, and let's. Um, I'm going to build the um, pub here because I believe they're going to lose their their discontentment at me before this does because I invaded this first. So you know I might get an extra one or two gold um, by the end of the game if I, if I build the pub here rather than here. Um, all right, uh, let's end turn. These fucking slingers. I want, you know, them here, like so they're, they're not impeded by hills, so they can run out and make the use of those dashes or whatever. A range of four. One, two, three, four, five. Who does the most damage? Five, four. This guy does the most damage. One resistance, one resistance. So I'm gonna, um, I'm gonna burn ammo on this dude. Whew. 
Now they both do the same amount of damage. Alright. Do hit fucking hard, eh? <laughs> Maybe I could bash this dude. Now the Kerbal could come along and kill this, but then I'm leaving myself open to being hit by all three of these that could potentially kill the Kerbal. So I don't think I want to do that. Now, I could also just peg an axe at this dude and kill him, and that's what I think I'm going to do. The downside of that is that this dude will then move and attack. Well, look, he'll hit me with a six. Look, there, if, if I did that, oh, it's, yeah, it's okay, so so I don't have to worry about that actually. I was thinking I could kill this guy, but then if both of these attacked me and this, then he could die. And look, that still might be cutting things a bit fine, right? Like I don't have, I've got, okay, I've got one range resist, range defense, so I could take three from that, which would make him on eight. And then this dude attacks with like, say, a, a six. Okay, he probably won't die, um, but I don't deal, don't like dealing with things of like probabilities and stuff. Um, but look, regardless, we'll peg that and kill him. Um, I'll just advance. And we'll attack this dude. And we'll think, leave things like that. This should kill this dude. Excellent. We'll heal this person up. I want to get my cobalt amongst it. And things are like looking pretty good now. I'm feeling well in control. out. Victory! Alright. Okay, I haven't really thought about what kind of, um, what kind of wizard I want to make my dude. You know, if I go, like, say, Wand Master. Yeah, I, don't like, I, don't, I don't know. Like, I think Wands probably aren't as bad as like I, I make them out to be. If I go like like a Wand Master and, go, and then go down the Scout route, then you can get even more ranged attacks on that. Um, you know, you can you can make quite a powerful um, dude. That's that's a Druid, isn't it? And they've got even more powerful summons. Yeah, I don't know. I think for now, like, I don't necessarily 100% want summoning or 100% want one master. We'll just go Stormaturgy too. It's, it's me hedging my bets a little. Or, or being non committal, let's say. Middle of Valor. We'll go Battle Frenzy, Defense, Ranged Attack. I'm 
not gonna go ranged attack. Um, it, it's it's a little bit stupid because like the berserkers don't they they lose the throwing axes, and so I mean ultimately you know that you're gonna want to upgrade your barbarian's berserker, and then it's like any ranged attacks that you've plowed into this dude. Um, are just going to become pointless because you lose the ability to make ranged attacks. So having said all of that, I'm just going to give him one hit point instead. All right, so we're going to two, we're going to let's um go to pub. Build a brigand lair. Let's see if there's any wolves here. Nah, of course not. But that would be just too much to ask for, wouldn't it? We have come across our first swamp um, on this very swampy uh, shard. Valley of the Gone mossy swamps and this swamp is very very mossy um all right now just look at the, how many different spells i can get what do i want to do I guess I could probably attack the brigands. So we'll go there and attack the brigands and we'll end turn. Brigand Thief Ren Renegade. That's me trying to roll my eye, but I'm stuffing that up at the moment. <laughs> I've got a bit of a dry mouth, which is stopping me rolling my R's. Alright, so this guy's in a dangerous position. One, two, three, four, five, six. He can shoot my guy. He might have double shot. I don't know. I'm not going to be able to find that out until after he's had a shot. And, you know, he could do a lot of damage to my dude. So I'm actually, I want my person to be as far away as possible. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. This guy doesn't have the Three, four, five. Yeah. Let's just do something like that. Okay, so he doesn't have double shot. False alarm, nothing to worry about. Um, we'll still burn his ammo. things like that and then I can heal up this dude. Let's just go whack him. <laughs> Fuck me that did more damage than I was expecting. It was a lucky hit though. So this should probably kill this guy anyway. <laughs> Why, yes, yes it does. Um, move this person here. I'm hoping that this brigand attacks 
uh, this guy, but he might not uh, because he's on the hill and all that. It'll, it'll probably be smarter to attack um, my Berserker. But hopefully he attacks this Brigand and then I can just heal the Brigand up and kill him and all my dudes can be healthy. That's, that's my hope. But we'll see. Okay, yes. He did. Guard. An epidemic of black pestilence has broken out in the province of Funery, Funeral Valley. Many are dead. I will sell fresh corpses to the necromancers. I get 30 gems for it, and they are furious. Alright, so we need to start. Um, going on the path of um, I could go horde chuck down a horde guard yeah going on the path of getting a chieftain's tent or something for this place I guess we'll go and attack, um, yeah, we'll go, we'll go attack these, uh, brigands again. We'll build a pub. How close am I to getting this? So close. We'll go pub. Um. I think I won't build anything else because I do want to start saving up. I think that makes sense. And yeah, we'll attack the brigands this in turn. Alright, so a similar thing again, except this time now there's two fucking renegades, which is going to be a unique headache for me to navigate. Fuck is going berserk. This could be the end of my barbarian, my berserker. Unless I could dash him and retreat him. That could cause just as many problems. Um, fuck. That is really problematic having him run out there like that. shot and all that sort of stuff. I need to take him the fuck out. Yes, destroyed all of his ammo. <laughs> Alright, in turn. He's dead. Uh, it's your own stupidity. <sighs> what a stupid barbarian. I feel this guy. Six, one, two, three, four, five, six. Far 
Jai. If I move this guy here. Um, pretty sure this is what I'm going to have to do. To keep this guy alive. And this is only if he doesn't go Burko as well. Ooh, I didn't kill him. be killing this dude, won't I? I'll say I'll definitely be killing this guy. But, on the very off chance that I won't, I'm going to heal up him. Instead of my barbarian. But I don't think. I think it's an overabundance of caution. Damn it, so I lost my only level 4 dude. Oh, such is life. So go stamina, battle frenzy. Found a simple wand. Uh, so I'm gonna have to come back. Well, I don't have to do anything. I'll come back um, and get uh, some more units. Let's have a look. Okay, we've got a sentinel. Which we don't really, don't really want. Now, what kind of what kind of wizard am I gonna make? So these, these dudes have an upkeep at 6, but these brigands only have an upkeep at 2. I mean, and the brigands kind of suck because they plunder and, um, and maraud things, um, which means that they triply suck and they're kind of weak, but, you know, potentially I could, you know, I could go like a buffing kind of wizard and then I could only need brigands and I wouldn't need barbarians, but... I don't know, just on, on the thoughts of things, the, the barbarians are just so much better than these brigands, right? It's just... It's just annoying when you can't control them and they get themselves killed, like... <laughs> uh, like they did last fight. to get a shaman. Anyway, I, I'm, I'm, I don't think it's the strongest idea. Now, let me put it that way. I think it would be better if I just went a barbarian. I think that is going to be the, the strongest um, choice I could make. Um, it wouldn't um, impact my gem income. So it would be cheaper than going a shaman as well. Um, but uh, you may have noticed the pattern um, in uh, this shard, I I talk about I spend a long time explaining how something is not the best choice of actions, and then I do it anyway. <laughs> I'm going to go the shaman um, anyway, just to you know add a bit a bit more spice and variety um, to my army. You know, so it's not just an army of just barbarians. Do I think it's the strongest thing to do? No. Um, do I think it's the best choice? No. Do I think it's going to cost me more? Yes. Am I going to do it anyway? You betcha. 
So, um, so I need what? 41 and 18 for that. So that means I can afford um, to build, say, a granary or something like that if I so desired. Uh, do I want it? I'm noticing this is saying it reduces the risk of famine in the province, but as an evil person. Famine is actually good because I can make a lot of money by selling food at exorbitant prices. So I actually want famines to happen. This is the first time I've actually really thought about this. So I shouldn't be go building granaries. And, I, and also it's going to keep my populations lower so and easy, easier for me to subdue. So I'm not going to build granaries um, um, on this shard. Or at least I'm not going to build them now. So I'm just going to leave things like that and we will end turn. All right, that's one second. Alright, I'm back. Alright, cool, so... Now, what am, what am I going to do? Um, I'm trying to think, like, I'd, I could probably enter battle with this dude. This injured. Um, and... Just heal him up or whatever. So I'll build a I'll buy the shaman now, there's no point... I was thinking, like, if I'm not going to enter battle straight away, it would be best to, um... Hold off on getting the shaman, because... I'll save on the, um, the upkeep costs. But I'm going to learn spells. Okay, so we will fatigue, fatigue. Maybe get a shock. Maybe, I, maybe. Mm. Let's get a shock. Let's just do something like this, and you know, a little part of me is just saying, explore, explore, find those wolves. So, again, I don't think this is the smartest idea. I don't think it's, a, but I'm going to do it anyway. <laughs> Am I trying to self sabotage this shard? I have no idea. Um, okay, I could chalice of life. There's probably not, not much point to that. Um, I will build the Den of Thieves. Ooh. I do want to go towards the Chieftain's Tent though, but I guess there's no real rush on that right now. Uh, look, we'll get the Den of Thieves. I will end turn. Okay, find wolves, find wolves! <laughs> Damn it. Okay, well, again, I, I haven't really decided what what direction I want my guy to go in. So we'll just take Thaumaturgy 3. Now I can probably heal, no, repair some of that, nope. Alright, what have we got here? Um, Don't have any room for the harpies yet. Ooh, I've got another um, spell slot so I can learn. Let's take fatigue. What am I going to go? What am I going to go fight? I guess that's the 
question. Let's go fight um, some undead. And we'll take the shock in that case. Pretty happy I've got the shaman noose in this one now. Look at that damage damage eh? Four magic damage is not really gonna do much magic. It's not really gonna do much damage, is it? <sighs> do we care about that? Not, sh not sure. Um, so seventeen damage to kill this thing. I could move around here and attack this, and that should kill it, but then that's leaving my Berserker open to being attacked by this. Uh, we should only do like 4 damage, so is that something I need to worry about? <sighs> yeah, no, probably not. Um, let's just do it, eh? Maybe I can try and get the zombie to hit this dude, um, and then I've got all the damage on like one target kind of thing. trying to juggle things so I've got time to heal stuff up and in a manner where I won't take too much damage while I'm, while I'm doing it. Ah! Alright. So be it. It is rumoured a crypt at the old graveyard in the province of DJ Rubensville was infested by some evil creatures. People are afraid of visiting the tombs of their ancestors. So they are asking you to take action. Now, I don't know 
what happens if I just say I take care of this trip later? Like, I don't really want to spend um, my gems um, exercising an evil crypt. Like, I don't really care about the evil crypt. At the same time, I don't really want to spend gold bring, bring, um, bricking up an e a crypt either. Because I don't care about the crypt. Um, maybe it's worth getting the adventurers because I, th you know, but that's cost 200 gold. But you can, they can find items, I think. And then or I can just say I'll take care of the crypts later. Now, can I just keep on forever just saying oh, I'll take care of it later, I'll take care of it later, I'll take care of it later? So let's, let's find out. I'll say I'll take care of it later. They're on quiet. Holy fuck. And now they're indignant. Okay, yeah, so you can't just say you'll take care of it later. <laughs> um, Alright, that kind of sucks. Because uh, this is my capital as well, right? And we've got an indignant people at the capital. So... I'm thinking I want to go Chieftain's Tent and get like a tribe guard. You know, there are other guards I could go. I could go, um, say, the Horde. But I don't want to do that on my capital because decreasing the province income by 20 on like my capital, which, you know, that's 16. Okay, I guess it's fairly similar to other... Um, other other provinces, but yeah, I don't know. Um, I reckon tribe tribing it is the way to go. Oh, I can't because that's hills, and tribes can only be on plains. Hmm. Well, for now we'll go. Ooh. For now we'll go metamorphosis school, and we'll forget about the um, the guard dilemma momentarily as we froth over the fact that um, we now have webs. So we'll go web, web, web. Now the triple blade is actually pretty good as well, eh? For killing shamans. I've also got Thaumaturgy 3, so I'm like thinking like, you know, is is um is a shock? Or a triple blade going to be a most efficient way of killing a shaman. Um, often the triple blade is a better way to go because um, it does physical damage, which the shamans don't have much uh, resistance to, and can you know often kill them in one shot. But sometimes it's not enough, and it might leave them with like one hit point. I think other other um, like non wizard dudes can sometimes struggle with the shocks because they don't have a high um, magic power and they can't really overcome the resistance of the shaman as, as like a, a spellcaster they've got um, innate resistance however I think maybe my this wizard here you know be able to overcome three um, resistances with my thaumaturgy and then I've got a magic power of four, which could potentially mean that the shocks would do more damage than the, than the triple blade. Unfortunately, there is no precise science in this, and so I'm just going to have to take a guess about which one I'll which one I'll take. Um, we'll just go something like this. Uh, Let's just do that. 
and this is what I'm going to attack um, the Barbarian Province with. This one here. Uh, my good, my dudes are fairly healed up. Um, I'm liking that. Um, there's no point in uh, spending one copper to repair my simple one slightly. So I won't do that. Garzo can attack um, Standing Stones. Now what did I build? Oh, that's right, I built the... Um, I built that... The, the Metamorphosis Guild. Or Metamorphosis School. <laughs> And I've got pubs everywhere, so there's nothing else to build, because I don't want to build granaries. And we shall end the turn. I note I can enchant a coffer. I mean, it will take half of my gems. Yeah, let's just leave it for now. Let's end turn. Ah, damn it, there's four of them. Oh, I was really thinking there would be three. Um. It's gonna be three barbarians and one shaman. Now I could probably take the shaman out straight away. Then it's like like just three barbarians. And I've got a whole bunch of webs. Ah, look. Let's try for it, eh? I may regret this. So, this guy has 11 hit points. Is my triple blade going to be enough to destroy him? And do I need to worry about destroying him right now? I could wet this guy up, which will frustrate the path of this person. Um, you know, he's got 21 hit points. But yeah, maybe... Down. So, my berserker should be able to kill this person. Let's do it. Now, I don't want to move him forwards because that would allow this barbarian to get the first attack off on me. But maybe that's not so bad because he'll get the attack off and I'll, and I'll get a counter attack. My counter attack might not be enough to make him drop into a rage, but his attack will hopefully will be enough to make this guy drop into a rage. And so then I'll be able to get a rage attack off on this person. So I might actually, you know, come out on top. But the rage attack probably wouldn't be enough to kill him anyway. 
Um, whereas if I leave things the way they are, he'll come along and peg a, an axe at this dude, I think, and I'll get hit by this. Let's just chuck down. Um, let's go to the triple blade and see what sort of... Yeah. So that was what I was worried would happen. Alright, we'll advance to this and we'll leave it like that. Alright. Now there's many different ways that I could um, kill um, this dude. I think the one that I'm going to do is dashing this person. Okay, so he's used up his ammo. So, I could like, go like, go like this, I could kite him, oh. and I don't necessarily have to worry about him dying just yet, so I need to do 10 damage to kill him. Well, I can just run like this. And then I'll kill him next turn, which means I can use this turn to heal up um, some of my peeps. Alright. Um, let's... Let's... Um, I'll heal up this. Kill him. Easy. Go defense. Um, go range attack, I think, for sure. Some malcontents in the province of Ste Steel Ridge have gathered to form a, a gang of brigands. They're hiding somewhere nearby, making raids or trade caravans from the top. Making raids on trade caravans from time to time. People are displeased with your rule. No, I don't. I really don't care if I've got brigands attacking my people. But I'm going to string them up because, you know, I can. Following the orders, the guards round up several of the rabble rousers and hung them in the central square without any needless formalities. Perhaps this will discourage the rest from showing their displeasure so openly. Right, let them hang. Alright, so we've taken over standing stones and do we have any wolves? Come on, wolves. And this is what I was most deadly afraid of <laughs> is I'll take my, f my my first ring of provinces and have no idea um, where these wolves are. Now that they could be you know some more sort of shamans or like elvy dudes or something but I guess that would be forest but yeah there could be more um, uh, uh, gangs of shamans or bands of shamans or whatever they're called um, that I haven't found yet so I need to explore to find them. Um, and there could also be in those, those uh, random um, events that happen when you explore. You know, they might be trying to kill healers. Um, I guess that's my way of saying I'm going to need to explore in order to finish this stupid bloody quest. And exploring is also a very inefficient um, way to spend your time as your main guy because you just want him to be levelling up. So the question I need to ask myself is, is exploring... Um, is the payoff for that going to be worth slowing down the progression of my main character? And I think the answer to that is no. You know, like I think it's 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 most important that when you run into one of these people that you've got the strongest dude you can possibly have, as that's what's going to be the bulwark between 
you and them and them defeating you. Um, you know. So I think it's probably not going to be worth exploring with my main character. Also, the problem is, is that you know I've already done half of the quests on this guy, and if I explore with somebody else and they run into, say, the um, the healer quest, you know, like I'd want the quest to be on on them, not my main guy, because also I wouldn't want my main guy running back to also complete the quest, because that would be inefficient as well. So, you know, moral of the story, maybe, you know, maybe. I, like, I want to just ditch this quest entirely for Garzod and, and put it on my next hero. I don't know. That all, say, that all seems a bit, um, a bit drastic, but it's, you know, it's maybe what I would, would need to do. Um, anyways, that will be um, problems for another episode, as this is where I'm going to finish uh, this episode, which has been episode 2 shard. 25 of my evil playthrough of Eidolor Genesis New Horizons December 2022 edition. I've just taken over Standing Stones on my quest for shard domination. And if you'd like to see this continue, um, tune in next time. Alright, thank you. See ya!